Ryan Chantis, G-E-N-T-E-S. My schedule simply opened up to allow me to be here tonight, and I'd like to speak in opposition to the pipeline project. I feel like it's ludicrous to gamble water against energy. Uh, I recall a, a close friend of mine many years ago who was a state fire inspector in propane in the state of Florida, Al Bibler, we were discussing the use of methane gas and Al said, you can't use it. It's too corrosive. you got to put it in stainless steel pipe. Well, I guess they found pipe liners and ways around that. How long is that going to last? I don't know. Uh, I'm sure that I know the boring is phenomenal. It's cool what they can do boring. But you're boring through rock. You're going to put explosive gas under the river. It's not going to work. It's inevitable. We're going to have a leak. It's just a matter of time. Who's going to replace our water? What are we going to feed our cattle? What are we going to put on our crops? We're, you know, it's just not worth the risk. The chafing. What are you going to do about the weight of the flood water when the flying, when the Swanee floods, and and the, she's over her banks and there's a pipe underneath in the rock sitting there rubbing on the, you know, on the, the on the rock. It's just a matter of time. You're going to blow that pipe, and the pipe the water. Oh, excuse me. The methane, which smells so lovely. Is going to be all in our water system. What's it going to do to tourism? I guess we'll just be poor Floridians. Uh, I'm just speaking from my heart. I, I'm not prepared to some of these the hundreds of numbers. I just want to say, please, don't ruin Florida. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Number seventeen.